Hello and it's very nice to see you. It's been a while since I were here in my social media channels. I basically took some time off since Christmas, uh, rebooting and readjusting my focus and goals for the year. I hope you're doing well and I hope you had a good start of the year. I wanted to come in here and basically share some of my process lately uh, where I had a chat with my friend and fellow designer Danislav. He's creating some amazing courses and video material and he asked me, Pontus, how do I create this amazing intro where you mask in your logo from a shape into the video itself? And I said, well, let's jump on a call and do a mentorship and feedback session and let's do it together. And uh, actually, let me teach you how you can do it. So here's a video of you having a peek into our chat of how a mentorship and work feedback session could look like here on Patreon and uh, how it sounds like and feels like. It's a really nice session, uh, just helping out uh, for whatever need uh, there is. So enjoy this video and I'm looking forward to chat to you very soon again. All right, make hosts. There we go. Change host. You are the host. Well, I am the host? You are the host now. Oh shit, it's happening. Booting up. All righty, this is fun. <clears throat> okay, so show me the storyboard. What do you want to achieve? What are we making? So the idea is to start from basically a black screen, then to fill out the logo. Mm -hmm. Once it's filled up, when it starts zooming, to reveal the mask essentially behind it. Yep. Mm, that's it. Okay. I plan on having some cool sound effect to it But mm -hmm. the only cool sound effect I found online is Netflix. Yeah. Honest. And there's a super, it's amazing. Um, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I, I have no idea how to do this. Really. Okay. I haven't chosen software for it in a while, but I have exported the logo cool the logo, and I can score just as the okay so let's start by adding some folders in your uh, after effects file so you can click right click on the left side there you can add some folder I usually call it assets and then I call the them drivers, sure. but you can do this of course in any way but uh you should be able to drag it in it's a little funky sometimes yeah, try it. Yeah, that should be fine. And we can, yeah, we can keep it in just one folder for now. Oh, we didn't upload the logo. Uh, oh, you can't drag in SVG. Okay, so we have to open Sketch to export the logo separately. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you got the logo separate on a uh, artboard, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And I think we're just gonna import a PNG for now as a reference. Okay. Uh, so I don't think you need to use the AE UX plugin. So do PNG. Let's do a uh, like twenty X or something, like a large one. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, we want to see how it looks um, when it's blown up outside of the screen. You can call logo. Oh, and then oh, actually yeah. go back to sketch. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then duplicate this one, make a new artboard. And now we're gonna go into the logo and we wanna make it, we wanna make a mask of the inside D. So if you zoom in. Oh, maybe, yeah. yeah. And maybe change the color, yeah, cool. So basically, you know, is it flattened? We want this shape. Yeah, the inner yep. shape as a solid. Whoa. So maybe you have to flatten this oh. thing. Oh, or you can make it really geometric. Really Boom. Boom. There we go. Okay, so export that one in 20x as well. Cool. Are you game a uh, mask or something? Logo mask. Yeah, cool. Nice. Uh, okay, so I think we got all the assets. So we can drag those two in. And the first thing we can do is to right click on test mp4 the video. Oh. Yeah. 
a new comp from selection and you can name this video or something yeah video and that's just gonna be uh you know you can double click and you can change it inside of it anytime you need to um and then let's oh. do, yeah so and you can extend or decrease the length and everything so you don't need to do it in a layer so you do it in a comp this is a full control yeah i, didn't, I mean yeah. i've heard about it but they never applied it so. mm -hmm. yeah okay and then nice. let's do uh do you want to have 1920 1080 yeah but yeah okay let's do a composition uh composition new and then do that in the frames that you want no, I do it, man. Yeah, that works. It's for YouTube. I have no idea. Yeah, but that works. And you can name it. Let's do yeah, thirty seconds is fine. And then you can name it like uh, main or something. Yeah, main comp, cool. Main intro. Uh, all right. So first thing we want to add in the video. So you can drag in the video composition. Cool. And then you can click pause. Oh, wow, now the laptop is taking off to Mars or something. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's going to a new dimension, man. Yeah, Apple, the best MacBook ever. Um, I mean, it is the best. It is the best, and yeah. I can, uh, and I can cook on it. At least it was cheap, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's the cheapest oven a favorite box. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, let's see how it goes, if you're still with me. Uh, let's mute the clip just to remove the audio on the left side there in the timeline. Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, it's oh. the microphone um, speaker there, yeah. Okay, and then we go to the main intro comp. And you can drag oh, yeah. in... Okay. And then you can drag in the logo and the logo mask, both of them at the same time and drag them to the center. So they are so big, they are out of view at the moment. So let's go oh, into wow. layer and then new and do null object. Okay. okay. Then we can go up to the icon that is uh, to the left of the rectangular in the top. This one? Yeah, double click it while holding Perfect. command. Sorry, double click it while holding command. Yeah. Yeah, so that will uh, that will uh, enter the anchor point in the center of it. And okay. then if you right click on the red thing in the middle, click it and press transform. And then fit to comp in the bottom there. So that's just going to give us a nice reference point of center and full view and all that stuff. And now you can drag it up in the top of the left side there, just to have it above everything else. Uh, and the video should be in the bottom. Yeah. And so click the logo and the logo mask. And then you either select the drop down on the very right or click on the little squirrel, the pick whip. This, this yeah. should be. And you can click there and drag it onto the null object. Yeah, there you go. It's very funky, but it's actually, you've done this before, right? With some null objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. so it's parenting the things you do on the null object in position and scale and stuff. So now we can go mm. into, let's jump forward like three seconds or something into this uh, composition and click on the null object and then you click scale s on your keyboard and then you click on the timestamp on the left to start keyframing and then we can move forward uh, a second or something maybe and then you click the keyframe again and then you can scale it down until you see the logo in the nice size that you want it to be before it scales up Finally, we see it. We see some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know, something yeah. like this. 
Okay, so the next step here is that we want to mask <clears throat> in the video inside of the mask. So yeah. you can click on the video layer in the bottom. It's actually very simple. And then you go to trick mat, the drop down that says none on the right. Okay. Uh, the left one of that. Yeah. Oh, this. Yeah, that one, yeah. And you click alpha mat. Uh, to which one? To logo mask? That one, yep, the first one. So oh. that will mask in inside of that mask. Yeah. And it actually does it because it's the first layer that comes under the mask. So if you move the video layer, it will no longer be masked. And yeah, there we go. I mean, you... <laughs> oh, wow. I love your what? expression. I love your expression. You're like, oh my God, I did it. I, know, I really, wow. You know, I'm not that good, Dennis Lab. <laughs> <laughs> you can do what I can do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the main part in the end. But now first we wanna we want it to be painted right from zero to yeah. full. Okay, so let's go to actually let's start by selecting the scale keyframes that you have. Yeah, yeah both of them, and right click, and then you select time reverse. Keyframe assist. Oh, this one. And then uh, in the bottom, time refers keyframes. So now it's the proper size. It goes from small to large. Wait, you just did it with one click? Oh my god. Yeah. And then let's zoom in to the logo. Now we want this to be stroked. So we need to recreate your logo in a shape layer in After Effects. Uh, so yeah, by, do it with a pen tool? Yes, so by doing this, click outside of everything so you don't have anything selected. And then you go up on the pen tool, yeah. And then zoom in a little bit more into the actual logo. And let's start by clicking the edge in the top left and top right of where the logo starts. Yeah, there you go. In the center of the vertical oh. line. Yeah, there we go, exactly. And then you click in the center. Yeah, there you go. Because this is going to be like a stroke. Uh, from center and then now try to use follow <laughs> as good as you can and remove the last point you need to while clicking you have to drag after you clicked and you you need to do a little bit above it yeah exactly and what you, do you mean? oh yeah but you drag but it it's... straight down straight down what do you mean that? yeah so click and then drag down mm -hmm. not that much maybe like a half of this and hold on shift mm -hmm. to make it straight yeah. yeah, there you go, there you go. And now do the same in the bottom, but then you drag to the left, straight. Yeah, and I think it's too much, but you can adjust this later, once you get the points. And then you do the same on the Oops. left. And then you drag up. And there you go, yeah, something like that. And then you do the same, and not really in the edge, but uh, more to the left, a little bit more to the left. Which one? This one? Yeah, like here. Oops. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, remove that one and do it again by dragging a little bit. To the right. Oh, to the right, yeah. Yeah, 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 there you go. Okay. And then you do okay. a last one, and that's gonna be right under the first one. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah, and you can hold on shift too to get it straight, I believe. Yes, and you can adjust yeah. this later, yeah. So now let's go up to fill, click the fill uh, topography. This is weird because we wanna change it to have nothing. You have to click the text itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird. And then you click that one, yes, on the left side. And then click okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you click the stroke and then you select you, you can select blue for now so we can see it more oh yeah fast. yeah makes sense yeah and then you select the uh, two pixel and increase mm -hmm. it to the same width as your logo something like this man. yeah and now let's go back to all the points and try to adjust them in Heights and uh, and easings in the. In okay, the I need to do. Oh, is that with the V? Yeah, yeah. Oh. 
So that one you drag it up a little bit, yes. And also hold down shift so you have it straight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it just takes your time until you're happy with this. Wow, I'm amazed how easy. Yeah, once you know the you know small tricks here and there, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Okay, no one. Okay, so now you can rename the layer to logo. Uh, well, it's uh, in the, the bottom shape there. Shape. Yeah. And then uh, you can drag it down to the logo itself, and then you can drag you know that width thing to null object again, and now you can delete the logo PNG. And then we go back to the logo outline and we change the color to white. Oh. Wow, this was so fast, man. Okay, I think it works for now, for sure. Yeah. So for now, yeah. I think oh. we need to then add, uh, it's called trim path, actually, as, as it sounds. You're trimming the path. Oh, I, 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 I've heard that. Oh, nice. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> it was, hold on, hold on, I know how it was, hold on. Uh, <laughs> no? Jesus, I've done it once. Click all the buttons again. in the world. Oh, it was here. No, mm -hmm. I, I just, I, I know that it was, okay, here it is. You're close. No, no. Nope. Oh, it was this one. Nope. It was this one. No. Nope. No, where? You're close. Where it was, I know. I can see it. I know it was sound. I can see it. I fuck? can't see it anymore. You close. It's this one, right? It's the add icon on the right. Which one? The add one. Oh my god, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then the trim path in the bottom. Okay. Yes. There you go. Okay. Okay. So then let's so open that one up. Um, and then you can drag the, I believe, end from hundred. Drag the end percentage from hundred to zero. Mm -hmm. There you go. And what we just put in the start? Yeah. So then you can click a keyframe to end. Oh. Okay. And then you go forward maybe a, a second. Let's do that for now. And then you drag it to hundred. And okay. then you can play it back how it looks. It will be very linear. Yes. But it will be very small, yes. so it'll be fine. But we can add some easings to this. Uh, you don't have any plugins or motion two or something, right? Mm, nothing. Okay, that's all good. So we can do manually. Uh, select the things exactly and key from assist. Easy ease. Mm -hmm. So there here, you get right? some easing uh, and then yeah, exactly the curve editor, click the points and you can drag it to, to the center. Yeah, and then also the left one if you want. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> I oh love your man. face. Okay, play it again. I want to see your face now. That's nice. Good job. Good job. <laughs>